described they've been called the future of modern policing. Body cameras can act as an independent witness to police interactions with the public. Earlier this year, the New Orleans Police Department rolled out more than 400 cameras for their officers on patrol. But how do they work and what does the video look like? For the first time, we're getting a look at NOPD body camera footage used on the job. WDSU reporter Gina Swanson goes in depth with NOPD top brass about the camera program and how it's changing the way they do their job. This is not an action movie. It is an actual NOPD call for service. Come out, I'm gonna send it off. Moments after an armed robbery and carjacking, this police canine chase and apprehension was all called on camera. It is another tool for the police department. While officers are walking the beat, there is another pair of eyes on the streets. We're getting fewer allegations. Police Superintendent Michael Harrison says the cameras were necessary for one reason. How do we get NOPD um, to build trust with the community? Public confidence that has eroded after several high profile scandals and cases of police misconduct. With citizens often believing their complaints about police were falling on deaf ears. We want to take away the he said, she said. Um, we want to take that away from the complaints. Now, instead of a citizen's word against an officer's, there is a witness of sorts already on the scene capturing all the police interactions with the public. And this is a first look at body camera video and how it works. When allegations are made, we actually know who did what and who did what when. NOPD top brass says adding the body cameras is the future of modern policing, but incorporating it into daily use has not come without challenges. Back in August, a controversial officer involved in shooting was not recorded. The suspect was shot in the head. Police didn't confirm the incident to the public until days later. It fell through the cracks. And still, there is no video to determine if the shooting was a justified use of force. Well, the whole idea is to make sure that they're recording the interactions, especially with the public when it comes to things like misconduct or use of force. This was something new. And with any new technology, it takes a while to condition people and condition ourselves to get used to using it and using it properly. For veteran officers, it's something to get used to, how to incorporate the cameras into their daily workflow. For new cops, they'll never know life on the force without it. Displaced. Here in the 6th District, this officer gets ready for his patrol shift by grabbing one of the cameras and attaching it to the mount located on his chest. Here's how the body cameras work. Officers are required to turn it on any time they interact with the public, and the camera serves as an independent witness to whatever happens. The footage is uploaded at the end of each shift and saved to a secure cloud for storage. Police part with a canine. If you're in the car, you need to find a police officer and surrender yourself. Or we'll come find you with the dog. You could get bit. Back to this call for service, the video shows the chain of events from the time the officers arrive on the scene until they find and apprehend a suspect under this home. The chief says the cameras are already making a difference. It modifies the officer's behavior. It modifies citizen behavior. Um, so the officers are careful about the questions they ask and the statements they make. And the citizens are actually, their behavior is actually modified as well because when they know they're recorded, we're seeing less aggression on the part of the citizens. What happens when an officer doesn't um, turn on the camera? When they should record, and we find that they don't, um, there's a level of training and discipline. We use that, um, we use that, actually both of those if we have to, um, to ensure compliance. Compliance, the chief says, was voluntary, not part of the ongoing consent decree. Chief Harrison says the program was one of the largest deployments of body cameras in the country. May we rolled out. 448 cameras, probably the largest in the country at that time. The department has plans to order 100 additional cameras. While the officers are trained to record every interaction with the public, there are some exceptions. The cameras should not be rolling in the case of sexual assault or to protect juvenile victims of crime and sensitive witnesses. The cameras also have to be turned off in hospitals or when officers are entering the jail. We implemented the body camera policy and bought the body cameras for our officers to wear so that we can be transparent. So when it comes to officers accused of wrongdoing, more often than not, the cameras are on. The head of the Public Integrity Bureau says the video is one of the first things they look for in internal investigations. Cases that before where it would be the officer's word against the citizen's word, and I didn't have any evidence to substantiate one way or the other. Now I have all the evidence I need to either clear the officer or to sustain the officer. We 
analyze everything for any type of manipulation and what we found that in these particular instances there's no possibility of manipulation with these um, particular videos. Chief Arlinda Westbrook says the complaints against officers are being resolved at a quicker pace and video has shown both officers who follow procedure and those who violate it. Happened to see one recently where the video actually um, showed that the officer actually violated a policy. And it was a minor violation, nevertheless a violation. While there are no clear numbers, the videos are starting to be requested more for matters in criminal court. Admittedly, the New Orleans Police Department has work to do when it comes to winning over public confidence. Training, implementation, and proper use of the cameras is a process that's still ongoing, but citizens should be advised when they call police. The cameras are rolling. On your side, Gina Swanson, WDSU News. And just last month, Inspector General Ed Quattrovo praised the NOPD's body camera program, calling it, quote, the greatest leveraged investment possible in police community relations. Still, many are skeptical of the program. The concern is officers may be penalized for minor violations of policy that could have been just an honest mistake. 